People are starting to carve pumpkins for the season. You do not want to miss out on these pumpkins that we're about to show you this year, and they're only going to be displayed on Halloween. About uh, 15 years ago, I started carving pumpkins, just real pumpkins, and I realized early on that the pattern would last maybe two or three days before it started to mold and wilt. And I thought there has to be a, an easier way. So one day shopping at Michael's, I noticed that they were putting flowers inside of their craft pumpkins. And I, I pressed my nail into one of them. And so I was like, well, this indents a little bit. So I got a uh, heated scalpel and a wood burning scalpel and um, started carving away and realized that I was able to just keep adding on and saving them every year. So rather than throwing them away, I just add on and I retire some some year and will add on more the following year. The estimation of how many I've made, um, I'm going to say probably around 200. And we've sold some, we've given some away. So right now, Premier Cinema has some on display and some were donated to FMX. And then some have been given as gifts. Uh, recently, one was commissioned to us for an engagement. And the pumpkin said, will you marry me? And that was presented to um, the uh, fiance at the pumpkin maze, the corn maze. So it was, it was presented to her at the corn maze and uh, awesomely she said yes. And so now she has a pumpkin to remember her engagement. Really, it's all about web searching. So I, I look for photos and I look for uh, patterns out there. And so what I do here is really that nothing that, you know, anybody couldn't do. They just got to put their time into it and be very, very careful. Um, my favorites are always my Texas Tech because I'm a huge tech fan. But um, my second favorites are always my Michael Myers pumpkins because that's my favorite horror um, genre. It's, 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 Horror is my favorite movie genre, but Michael Myers is my favorite horror villain. So they're always my favorites, but I always try to go for the most complex patterns. So this year, my favorite so far has been uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, as well as my Billie Eilish. Pumpkin can really take a range of anywhere from three to four hours. Some have even taken three days, just depending on the complexity of the pumpkin. We only have them out one night a year, which is Halloween night. So this year it's on a Saturday, so I'm pretty sure we'll be open a little bit uh, later. But they can come out to our home located at 78th and Avenue P. We'll have them out here. Last year, um, we estimate that we had about 500 kids come out. Sometimes churches have even brought trailers of kids and families out here just to look at the pumpkins and our neighborhood gets packed full of kids. I'm not gonna lie, I like the attention. Um, the kids always come up and they're so amazed. Sometimes kids are so excited to see the pumpkins, they leave without getting their candy. Um, and, the, and what's really awesome are the fact that we have families who come every year. Families who don't even live in the neighborhood or don't even live in Lubbock will come to Lubbock just to see the pumpkins and they always try to look for what was new because they remember what they saw last year. I highly encourage anybody wanting to really carve, really step out and just start, you know, start with patterns. Be very careful. The tools are very sharp. And last year I even did stab myself. So it's be very careful. Children, parents, watch your kids as they're doing it, but encourage them to be creative.